Arcade Heroes. Hey everyone, this is Adam with Arcade Heroes here for what is hopefully a quick vlog, uh, but sometimes I tend to uh, get into a lot of detail as these things go. But uh, today I wanted to talk about fighting pinball and what appears to be an up-and-coming trend, at least amongst uh, Japanese arcade developers. So in the past few weeks, these weeks being you know, pretty much the end of December 2018, and this week is uh, the second week of January 2019, um, we've had some interesting news out of Japan, and one of those pieces of news became the number one post on ArcadeHeroes.com for 2018, and that was Taito Unveil's uh, Space Invaders Pinball Jam. And so this is a head-to-head -head pinball style game, almost like a blend between pinball, um, air hockey, maybe a little bit of foosball, as the balls are not still balls, they're uh, more like foosballs or ping pong balls. Uh, but uh, that post garnered a lot of interest and then in January, middle of January, uh, got news that Bandai Namco had their own what they call fighting pinball design that is pretty similar to what uh, Taito showed with uh, Space Invaders Pinball Jam. Uh, but it appears to have a few differences uh, between the two. And so uh, one of the major differences, apart from the theme, just ignoring the theme in a moment, just looking at the base electromechanical game, uh, the Space Invaders Pinball Jam has these four-point star-like uh, pop bumpers or that kind of spin around, move around as you play the game, uh, while the Super Panic Ball that Bandai Namco has developed it doesn't have anything like that, but it does have a wall of some kind, as the game calls it, uh, that pops up, and it's apparently not all the way across uh, when you're playing on the head-to-head, -head and we'll put the pictures up here for you to see. But um, it also has some sort of target or mechanism in the center area, whether that's a spinning disc or some other kind of target or sensor, it's not really clear, uh, but either way it is a little bit different and also the Super Panic Ball borrows from Namco's other uh, multi-puck air hockey projects, like they had Big Bang Hockey uh, a few years back and that came over to the States as Pac-Man Smash and Namco's done a few variations of that, the most recent one is uh, Batman vs. Joker, Joker vs. Batman Laughing Madness, which was seen at IAPA 29, or 2018. Getting ahead of myself there. Uh, but I find it very interesting that uh, Japanese developers are taking on more electromechanical concepts. Because, uh, I mean, the arcade amusement industry really started off as more of an electromechanical uh, type of deal as video games weren't around until the early 70s but there were arcades before that and they used either pinball machines or they had skee-ball and other electromechanical games you had even uh, light gun style electromechanical shooting gallery games and some other very unique and interesting concepts that came out of that and so that's what this seems to be but uh, on top of the whole fighting pinball concept um, in recent years, there was another manufacturer that developed this very sim same or similar concept, uh, a company known as Imply. They're based out of southern Brazil, and for a long time they sold what they called the eye hockey. And the eye hockey came in three different flavors, you can say, uh, fire, ice, and pub. And I actually have one. I'm one of the very few arcades in the United States that has one. As far as I know, they're aren't a whole lot of them out there. I think they're more common in Brazil and maybe other parts of South America. But uh, the concept is very similar. You have a bunch of balls that shoot out onto the play field and you have these pinball-like flippers there, pinball-like controls, and you just try and make as many points as you can before the timer runs out. Um, of course, the eye hockey ones don't have any major character or theme attached to, it, to them. And uh, so they, they didn't uh, really sell too hot here, but uh, from what I've seen of it, wouldn't, but I've operated of it, it's done 
decently. It's done well. Uh, it's not my number one game. It's not been in my top ten, but it's still done pretty solid for how much one of these things costs, which isn't a ton compared to a lot of modern video games and some other concepts out there. It's uh, it's it's done pretty well for uh, how much I had to invest into it. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting to see this concept. I think what they're trying to do is provide something that you just cannot get on a home console or your phone, particularly your phone because that's always the focus. Um, also something that isn't provided by uh, VR or anything like that. Although I imagine with augmented reality or mixed reality technologies like projection mapping, you could have some interesting variations on top of the fighting pinball design. Now, whether or not more of these are going to show up in the States, who knows? I believe that the iHockey games by Imply are still available. Um, although, when I checked their website right before recording this, um, they seem to have removed them and we're just focusing on their bowling machines. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if an order came through that they would be willing to fill that. Um, but whether or not Taito or Bandai Namco bring it over, it's still up in the air. However, the Bandai Namco one does seem like it has been tailored for a Western audience, and I make that judgment based upon the way that the English is placed on the cabinet. It feels a lot like what they tend to do with games that they test out first in Japan and then bring over here later on. And uh, as mentioned, with the multi-puck concept that they had here for a while, you might have come across a Pac-Man Smash uh, table at an FEC or other arcade facility. That started off in Japan as Big Bang Hockey, but uh, it was a pretty easy thing for them to just slap Pac-Man on there and, and change it into what it became. And so I could certainly see that happening with Super Panic Ball as uh, becoming a Pac-Man one, especially where Pac-Man's round like a ball and you have the energizers and the dots and all that stuff that would make perfect sense. Uh, of course, a Pac-Man versus Miss Pac-Man game would be pretty cool to see them do, although uh, I'm sure the Miss Pac-Man license and still not able to really be used like that or maybe we can make another pack girl <laughs> but uh pack boy versus pack girl or something like that but uh yeah we'll see where this goes in 2019 i'm sure a lot of it will depend on how these games test over in japan and whether or not any are testing out here in the states i haven't heard anything like that but if any of you viewers out there do happen to come Process, send me some pictures or video and I'll be happy to promote that on ArcadeHeroes.com or maybe on another one of these vlogs if anybody wants to watch these. Yeah, that is the uh, concept of fighting pinball and the footage that I included here of iHockey is from my arcade but I didn't have anybody else to play it with. It does not work in single player mode, although my understanding is that the Taito uh, Space Invaders Pinball Jam does work with just one player. I'm not sure yet whether or not Bandai Namco's Super Panic Ball does or not, but I wouldn't be surprised if they figured out a way to have the flippers work on some sort of AI or not. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.